Now, after a spate of horrific acid attacks in London, there are calls for tougher charges for those using it as a weapon. Today, the Crown Prosecution Service has clarified how the crime should be categorised. Well, to tell us more about this is Alice Sulfield. Alice, we're hearing a lot about acid attacks at the moment, aren't we? Exactly, Louisa. And this updated guidance comes in response to growing calls to do more to tackle acid attacks. Last month in London, we saw five attacks in just one night. Now, a warning for those at home, we're about to show some of the victims of acid attacks they might want to look away at some of the life-changing horrendous injuries that we're seeing now there have been calls from MPs and charities to tighten the law in terms of the sale of acid but also tougher sentences for those found guilty of using uh, acid in these kinds of attacks and it's the sentencing that the Crown Prosecution Service is addressing today so it's released guidance uh, which could see people caught carrying acid face prison sentences of up to four years and for those uh, found guilty of throwing acid, even if it does no harm to the intended victim, they could face a maximum life sentence. So are we actually saying this is a change in the law? No, there's been no change in the law, but because using acid as a weapon is a relatively new thing, so far uh, these kinds of attacks haven't been mentioned in any of the guidelines. So what the Crown Prosecution Service wants to do is clarify how the current law applies to this crime. And what they're saying is that it's an offensive weapon. So it should carry the same sentencing as using or carrying a knife would. But will we see any uh, tougher sentences as a result of this? Well, in reality, at this stage, probably not. As I say, nothing has really changed here. But what the Home Office is saying is that they have uh, are undertaking a wide-ranging review of the law, including sentencing and access to acid, as I mentioned before. So this is when we could see a real change in the way these kinds of crimes are handled. Alice, thanks very much for that.